Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show how the new mobile app works with the TK Talkie. There's a Bluetooth low energy module that is inside a TK Talkie, and that is used to communicate with the mobile app on your phone. The first thing we're going to do is hit connect. If I did not have my profile set up, it would scan for nearby devices. Since I already have this uh, profile set up, I'm just going to click on it right there. And that's the sound letting us know that it is connected. And now it's reading the profiles from your TK Talkie. Um, by default, I have my Stormtrooper profile. Uh, so every time I start up my TK Talkie, it loads my Stormtrooper profile by default. Now I can change that simply by clicking uh, the profiles up here. And it'll bring up my profile manager. And you can see I've got lots of different sample profiles set up. Um, all I have to do is click the download button to change my profile. Of course, I can delete those. Or if I click the star, that'll set that profile to the default profile that uh, starts up. Okay, so we've already heard the Stormtrooper sound. You can see all the menu items on the screen. You can set your levels. Uh, you have a voice level, which is the affected voice level, so all the sound effects that you have applied to the voice. Then you have a dry gain, and basically what that lets you do is that lets you mix your unaltered voice, unprocessed voice, with the processed voice. Uh, you have a speaker level and a line out level. Again, I'm using the line out on my TK Talkie to the line in on my speaker. So I would adjust mine using the line out level. The microphone menu lets you adjust the microphone gain. And what that does is that amplifies the signal of the microphone. So some microphones are powered, such as the wireless microphones. Some are passive, such as the wired ones that come with the speakers. So you can adjust the input gain so you can get a good starting voice sound. The voice on level setting is the level at which your voice will trigger the microphone when it's in voice activated mode. If you set that too high, your microphone may not come on when you start speaking. If you set it too low, your microphone may stay on the whole time. So you just basically have to kind of adjust that with your microphone. Again, it's going to be different if you have a powered or a passive microphone uh, so that it, when you speak normally, it will come on. Yet when you do things like breathe, it will not come on. The voice off level is the setting at which your microphone shuts off when you stop speaking. And then the voice off delay is how long it waits before it will play a sound effect. That allows you to adjust how long the TK Talkie will wait before it plays that sound effect. That way, if you're speaking and you have a slight pause, it doesn't automatically shut off your microphone. It'll actually wait to see if you're going to keep talking. Now, the Calm Effects lets you select a, a folder. And as you can see, you can click on here and it'll show you the folders that are on your card. You can select one of those folders. And then within the folders, you have the sound files. And then you can press this play button in order to sample the sound. Okay, uh, the mute sound effects, if you turn that off, basically what that does is when you stop speaking, it will not play a sound effect. Now for a stormtrooper, you want the sound effect, but for other profiles, such as maybe a clone, um, a TIE pilot, or you know even other costume types that are not stormtroopers, you can turn that off and that way it won't play a sound effect. The other thing you can do is you can just go up here and you can just select none. And you can also see that you can select random. So if you don't want to have the same sound to play every time, then you can set it to random and it'll cycle through all the sounds. Your effects level is how loud that sound effect is going to play. And the radio noise level adds a little bit of white noise behind the microphone whenever you talk. Testing, testing, one, two. Testing, testing, one, two. Testing, testing, one, two. On the sounds page, again, you can select a folder from your SD card. And from there, you can select a sound to play whenever your TK Talkie starts up. Again, you can also select none if you don't want to start up sound. You can also select the sound to play whenever your TK Talkie is going to go to sleep. TK Talkie, entering sleep mode. Voice effects, this is where you can have a lot of fun. So you have four different settings you can play with here, actually three. Uh, one is the bit crusher, another is the chorus effect, and then the other is a flanger effect. The next option is the background loop. Just like the sound and effects, you have a loops folder. So you can select from a folder that's on your SD card, and you can select a loop to play. Right now I have none for this demo, but you can see there's several different ones here. Uh, these all come with the TK Talkie by default. So you can select one of those, you can sample it. All garrisons. Be advised, DT-419 is now online. 
uh, you can also mute the loop while talking. And basically what that means is while you're speaking, it'll turn off the loop so that way you're not talking over the loop. And then of course you have a loop level. The equalizer lets you adjust your sound overall. Um, again, you can see we have about six presets, but you can just move these up or down uh, to set your equalizer. And then of course you can turn it on and off. The voice shifter lets you adjust the pitch of your voice. So I'm gonna play with that a little bit and kind of let you see what you can do with it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, and the glove screen is where you program the control glove. So right now, you can see that I have it set to play certain sounds. And whenever you click a button, it'll show you what button you've clicked. How long have you had these droids? Let me see your identification. And again, the first click is a short click, and that plays the uh, first sound. And the second click is a long click to play the second sound. We don't need to see his identification. These aren't the droids we're looking for. And then all you do to program this is you would... Touch the button, and then you can see here you have all these different functions. You can have it act as a push to talk button. You can have it uh, play and stop a sound. You can have it uh, adjust the speaker volume. You can mute the microphone, adjust the line out level, the microphone gain, uh, start or stop the loop, uh, the dry voice up and down, the affected voice up and down, effects up and down. So you can do several things with it. And you can program each button to do two things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to program my first button instead of to be a sound button. I'm going to program it to be a push to talk button. And that will also allow me to put the TK talkie to sleep and wake it up with that button. So now I'm done programming that button. So now I'm going to activate the push to talk mode. Right now I'm still in voice activated mode. And now I'm in push to talk mode. So you'll see now that even though I'm talking, the microphone's not coming on, there's no sound effects playing. Only when I push the button will the microphone come on. Look sir, droids. And again, you can have this play a certain sound uh, whenever you push the button and a certain sound whenever you release the button or you can have it play random sound effects. So I have it playing a certain sound when I push the button and then random sounds whenever I release the button. Are those your droids? And then all I have to do to go back to voice activated mode is to hold the button for two seconds without speaking. Okay, and now I'm back in voice activated mode. Another thing you can do with this button is to put your TK talkie to sleep and then wake it back up. So all you need to do is hold the button for four seconds without speaking to put it to sleep. And then once it's asleep, you just press the button again to wake it up. Okay, and the last setting on the menu is the sleep setting. You can choose the sound you want to play whenever it goes into sleep mode. And then you can also set the sleep timeout. And basically what that is, is the amount of minutes without anything happening. So if you set it for five minutes, and then you don't speak or do anything for five minutes with the TK Talkie, it'll automatically go to sleep. And then to bring it out of sleep mode, all you need to do is press the PTT button that you configured. Down at the bottom, we also have some icons. As you can see, you can disconnect, you can save your current profile. So if I had edited the current profile, I can hit save and just leave everything the way it is and hit the save button again. Or if I wanted to save this to a new profile, I just change the file name at the top and of course I can change the description. At the same time, if I want to change my access code to my TK Talkie, and this is my own personal pin, I just enter the new code here and then hit save. You can reset your TK Talkie if you need to. You can also put it to sleep through this app. And then of course you can mute it so that it's not playing any sounds at all. So if you're at a troop or something and you just, you don't wanna disconnect your TK Talkie, you just wanna mute it, you can just hit that mute button. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate switching through some different profiles. 
So we started off with the basic TK profile. If I click the profile list at the top, it'll bring up my profile manager. And let's say I want to load up my Veda profile. So this profile, I have a voice changer to where it lowers my voice. Of course, I still don't sound like James Earl Jones. Uh, and then I have some sound files I can play through my sound glove. So all these settings change automatically whenever you switch your profile. So let me go ahead and download that. The Force is with you, young Skywalker. But you are not a Jedi yet. Okay, so I have a breathing background loop. As you can see, my glove has some, some sound set up. Apology accepted. That is correct. Don't make me destroy you. No! It is pointless to resist. Indeed, you are powerful. And then, like I said, I have the voice shifter on so that it changes my voice a little bit. Uh, again, I don't sound exactly like James Earl Jones. Who does, right? Indeed, you are powerful. So we have a sample wiki. And this profile is a sound glove only. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to sound like a wiki when I talk. <laughs> Okay, so another profile that we have is the Java. And again, this has some sound buttons pre-programmed. And I've also programmed the voice changer to let me kind of sound like a Java, I guess. And then we have this sample Phasma profile here. And this one's a voice only. I don't have any a sound glove program with this one. So let's try this one. FN2187. Submit your blaster for inspection. So I hope that gives you a pretty good idea of what you can do with the TK Talking with the app. Uh, of course, you can do all kinds of costumes with it. Uh, you can do costumes that you only want to trigger sound effects. You can uh, do costumes that you both speak and do the sound effects. Um, and again, it's more than just sound effects. You can control things with the glove, uh, like volume levels. You can mute it, play and stop your loop. Um, so lots of things you can do with it. And I just wanted to say a thanks to everyone who supported this project over the past few years. I get a lot of good ideas from people and uh, try to incorporate whatever I can. The challenge with this always is, you know, to put as much in this little bitty box as you can and still keep it kind of small so that it fits in a costume easy. But I always welcome suggestions. Uh, so you can contact us through the website. If you have any questions, uh, please check us out on our website and I hope you like what you see.